Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google's Jamboard and Google Classroom together to create online mapping activities for your students. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm at jamboard.google.com, signed into my Google account. In the bottom right corner, I'm going to select a new jam. It's going to open up a new jam board for us. And over here on the left hand side, I'm going to now add an image. I'm going to upload an image I have on my desktop of the United States map. It's an outline map, just plain black and white map. And I'm going to click and drag to expand the size of it. And I'll reposition it up here, make it a little larger. And now I can center it up on the screen. And now a student who's looking at this, we'll just rename it quickly. We'll call it map assignment number one. Student who's looking at this can now use the drawing tools on the left hand side. We see the pen there, but there's also a marker tool, a highlighter, a little paintbrush tool. Choose a brush. And they can use one of these colors to then color in the state. Now, if this was an unlabeled map, they could go over here and use the tools for writing notes on the top of it. Let's say I want to write a you know, little note about this is Maine. And they could put that right over here on top of Maine. So they can use any of those little drawing tools and those sticky note tools now, if I wanted students to work on this, I could share it with them this way, with the share button up in the, in the upper right hand corner and share it just like a Google Doc. But what I'm going to do instead is go to my Google Classroom. You can see I've already started to create this assignment. And I'm going to say complete this map, use the coloring tools to color this map with four colors. Let's hit the add button. I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and in my recent items here, I'll have map assignment number one pop up. There it is. Click Add, and I can choose Students Can View File, Students Can Edit File, or Make a Copy for Each Student. That way, they're not all editing the same copy of the map. Now we go ahead and assign that to the class. So that's how you can use Google's Jamboard plus Google Classroom to create an online mapping activity for your students. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.